Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, planet extra research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled Astronomical Observation of a Strange Pulsating Object Close to Mars. Now, figure one shows screenshots from a video showing what an amateur astronomer from Argentina caught in the sky. Since he was trying to observe Mars, we can only conclude that the object was in the sky close to where Mars would have been at the time. The object does not have a smooth edge, it seems to be bubbling and chaotic, and it does have the appearance of a bubbling cloud. So here you are, as you can see, this object seems to be uh, bubbling and uh, changing shape and sh pulsating. The brightness of the light that it emits seems to pulsate and fluctuate. And so this was actually comes from a video entitled Amateur Astronomy in Southern Argentina. Um, I think that should be astronomer. thought he was viewing Mars, but he caught this. And so this was uploaded yesterday on my channel, January 11th, 2019. So it shows this object. The object is obviously emitting light, mainly red light, but there seems to be some green and blue light coming from the lower part of the object as well. You can see that there. The fact that the object looks like a cloud suggests that it is a planet X system stellar core surrounded by its cloud envelope. The light emission suggests that the object has absorbed high energy material from another object. It could be material from the planet Mars or from Earth or even from the Sun. These objects are known to induce volcanic eruptions from living planets like the Earth and will then absorb this high energy uh, material, it's gravitational energy, but it's in the form of photons. And you may look at Article 501 entitled Planet X Induced Volcanic Eruptions or like an Earth CME, and Article 505 entitled Planet X Creating Earthquakes by Inducing Positive Plasma Current Flows. Electrons from the absorbed material, which is most likely in the form of its magma, would then transfer to the cloud envelope as the high energy electrons settle into their new atoms, they would release excess energy in the form of photons, or in other words, light. The cloud seems to be bubbling, which suggests that it is being ionized as energy transfers to it. Since the object looks mainly red, the visible light photons being released would mainly be red light photons. But most of the energy would end up eventually flowing into the stellar core inside the cloud. The stellar core would continue to hold on to the water cloud until it has absorbed enough energy to generate its own outer negative layer. And you may look at Article 5.3 to entitle Planet X or Comet Re-Energizing Process. And here you see another image of that object. And this seems to be the best still image the astronomer was able to get. And you can see that uh, from the shape of the object, it has a very erratic, very chaotic kind of shape. So it seems to be a natural object. And it's... It's, however, it doesn't look quite spherical. You can see it looks a bit flat here. So it looks more like a flat disk than a sphere. And so this is not surprising, though, because uh, the, these objects seem to have clouds that are in the form of a toroid. So this, this would suggest that the positive charge is situated around the equator, thus allowing the objects to have a magnetic field and magnetic poles. And you can see uh, a lot of these objects, uh, it's both debris and smaller stellar cores in the sun's corona close to this huge big one. And you can see they're all surrounded in clouds. And in a lot of the cases, you can clearly see that the clouds are toroidal in shape. That's why we can actually see um, the objects through a hole at the top. And you may look at Article 529 for more details on this. Now here, uh, I illustrate the actual toroidal shape of these clouds. So you'd be able to see the object at the top and at the bottom. There would be more cloud, therefore, around the equator. These would be the poles.
And this would suggest that the fact the objects are of course charged. So um, rotation would cause the charge to move with respect to space and thus create a magnetic field. Now, this here illustrates what the object uh, may look like, the object that we saw, uh, that the astronomers saw. So from the outside, initially, you may only have seen this, which was a cloud. The object would be inside. From the side, it may have looked like this because it was a disk, basically, or had this kind of toroidal shape. But there was enough so that the top and the bottom was not visible. And then if you would do a cross section uh, through the cloud, you would see that there is an object inside it. And then after it has absorbed material, uh, this is also the cross sectional view, there would be magma over its surface inside the cloud. And then energy would transfer to the stellar core and to the cloud. And so energy would flow into the cloud and that would cause the cloud to emit light. So in conclusion, an amateur astronomer's observation of a red bubbling and pulsating red object in the night sky seems to point to the object being a planetic system stellar core going through the process of absorbing energy from materials such as magma after drawing it from a living celestial object within the solar system. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, planet ex-physicist. Thank you for watching.